Flanked by guards, you are led through the secure castle. Princess Vivian and Prime Minister Gustav awaited you. The Prime Minister speaks a lot, in contrast to the silent princess. He asks you to swear to keep this matter secret. The royal scepter has been stolen. A witness who saw the thief described him as Tomit, a known bandit. Your job is to track down Tomit and retrieve the scepter. Also, for the sake of the kingdom, this must be kept secret. Rani whispers that he knows of this Tomit. He's well known and is based out of the old capital. You bow and leave the throne room. In order to retrieve the royal scepter, you chase the thief into the ruins of the old capital. the ruins of the ancient capital city. It was destroyed following an invasion from the Northern Empire. Now, it is a dangerous place, full of dragons and wyverns. Find the bandit Tomit in a hideout amid the ruins, just as Rani told you. It is said that whatever this man desires, by thievery he can acquire. Rani asks, are you Tomit, the bandit legend? Beaming, he displays his spoils and tells the tale behind each item. When you ask about the scepter, he says, that was indeed I and goes on to boast exactly how he got into the castle. When you inquire further about the scepter, he deduces your true intentions and darts away. Pursue the thief, apprehend him and reclaim the scepter. You cannot capture a target swimming underwater. Watch for your quarry to surface.
Let's see. Simple. What? that he's actually been caught, that he cannot move. Relenting, he produces the scepter from his bag and hands it to you. You have reclaimed the royal scepter, stolen from the treasure room of the castle. Must deliver the royal scepter to the prime minister at the castle. All right. All right. Hmm. Once again, you are led to the throne room under guard. This time, a man stands there with a presumptuous grin. The man tells you to hand over the scepter. You tell him that you don't know what he's talking about. The man's mouth transforms into a twisted grin, and he signals his guards. They inch closer, swords at the ready. What will you do? You fall into a fighting stance. 
As soon as you steal yourself for battle, the Prime Minister and Princess burst in. The Prime Minister orders the guards near you to stand down. The man twirls his cape and leaves, as if nothing happened. You sigh, relieved that you didn't have to shed blood in the castle to resolve the problem. The Prime Minister tells you that man was Count Dean, the younger brother of the King. He is trying to usurp the throne. The scepter indicates the throne's heir. The Prime Minister says Dean had Tomic steal it to deny the Princess the throne. The Prime Minister takes the scepter and narrows his eyes in satisfaction. He pays you for completing the request. The fairy you saved in the ruins appears before you. She seems to want to take you somewhere. The fairy leads you into an old ivy-covered tower. You find yourself in a cluttered room that seems to be a laboratory. Judging by the stratification of dust, much time has passed since anyone last entered this room. Letters amidst the shambles indicate that a magician named Lucane lives here. You find a message he penned on the desk. Lucane wrote that he was off to see a magician friend named Wallace in the underground labyrinth. The fairy uses various interpretive gestures to indicate that she wants you to find him. You accept her job request. You head to Wallace's underground labyrinth to look for the magician Lucane. The fairy waits patiently in the laboratory for Lucane's return. Show's over, get out of here!